MRCEM OSCE course. Preparatory for the Royal College of Emergency Medicine. UK OSCE exam. Website www.mrcemoscecourse.com. Facebook page MRCEM OSCE course. Hello everybody. I am Mohammed Abdelghani Sadiq, co-founder and instructor of MRKM OSCE course. You are welcome to our new podcast series. Today I'm going to uh, speak about hand examination. It's a relatively common uh, station in the MRKM OSCE exam. And usually the scenario will be of a patient with hand and uh, or wrist injury. And you will be asked to assess him and formulate management plan within seven minutes. So once you get inside the room, wash your hands, have a look inside the room for any clues, and introduce yourself to the patient, confirm patient name and age, and uh, ask him how can I help you today. He will tell you that he might injured his hand uh, with knife or with, with, with a piece of glass. Then take consent for the examination of the hand and make sure he is pain free uh, or if he is in pain offer him painkiller and call for chaperone and then start your examination examination of the hand like all joints examination it's uh, look feel move and special tests but in hand examination you would like also to assess the neurological function of the hand typically the inner nerve radial and median nerves so my examination sequence will be uh, inspection palpation movement which is active and passive and then neurological function and at the last uh, special tests i will start by inspection i will expose both hands up to the wrist but concentrate on the injured one and look for any obvious abnormalities like any laceration, uh, bruise, active bleeding, deformity, skin discoloration uh, or sinus tracts and then uh, start palpation, inform the patient that you would like to touch his hand and first check for skin temperature and then uh, for tenderness you should be systematic so start by checking uh, for tenderness over the distal uh, radio ulnar joint and then over the distal radius ulnar st uh, radial styloid then over the distal ulna and check over the anatomical snuff box for tenderness which might indicate scaphoid fracture and check the radial pulse then uh, bulbate over the thinner and hypothenar areas and also over the mid palmary space and then uh, assess the metacarbophalangeal joints and the phalanx and interphalangeal joints from the front and from the back make sure that you make every step inspection palpation of from the palmar and dorsal aspects of the hand now move to uh, assess movement of the joints of the hand and wrist and start by the wrist joint assess the palmar flexion active active first assess the active movements which will be done by the patient himself without assistance ask him to show him how to uh, to perform uh, palmar flexion then door deflection of the wrist then ulnar deviation and radial deviation and then subination and pronation then move to the to assess the movement of the uh, joints of the hand itself metacarbophalangeal joints and then interphalangeal joints by this time you would like to uh, repeat the movement again but passively you will perform it take consent from him and then perform the movements again the same movements and now we complete the look feel and move 
we should uh, go quickly to perform the neurological examination of the hand. This is divided into two parts, motor and sensory function of the ulnar, radial and median nerves. Start by anyone you prefer. I will start now by assessing the motor function of the median nerve. You might do two or three tests quickly because this is long station and you, to, you need to complete within seven minutes. So the median nerve motor function, I will assess the uh, function of the flexor digitorum profundus by stabilizing the middle phalanx of the index finger and ask the patient to actively flex the distal interphalangeal joint of the index. This is supplied by the median nerve. Then uh, I will perform the next test for abductor bolus brevis, which also supplied by the median nerve. I will ask the patient to face his palm up and to point his thumb finger towards the ceiling up there and then ask him to resist you, uh, try to uh, bring his uh, thumb to the abduction position and ask him to resist you. This is the function of the abductor bolus brevis supplied by the median nerve. Then assess pronation of the wrist and also against resistance and this is also by the median nerve. Now we completed the median nerve motor function assessment. Go and assess the unknown nerve. Then we will start uh, ulnar nerve assessment and ulnar nerve motor function. We will start by assessing the inter OCI uh, small muscles of the hand and this by um, asking the patient to hold uh, paper sheet between the uh, little and uh, ring fingers and ask him to resist you from taking it away. Then the next test uh, that is the, for the abductor DGT minimi ask him to extend his fingers and try to push the little finger towards the ring finger while resistance uh, this is the second test and the last test is the forming test uh, and we perform this test by asking the patient to hold a paper sheet uh, between the thumb and index finger against resistance uh, usually the patient can hold it but if the thumb uh, interphalangeal joint flexed while he is holding the paper. This is positive test and indicates that the patient has problem with his adductor bolus muscle, which is supplied by the ulnar nerve. And now he is trying to hold the piece of paper by the flexor bolus longus muscle, which is supplied by the uh, other nerve median nerve so uh, right now we completed the ulnar nerve we will go quickly and assess the radial nerve motor function by uh, asking him to extend his fingers uh, with, re with resistance you will try to flex the fingers and uh, this uh, extension of the fingers is uh, supplied by the radial nerve and also you can ask him to subordinate his wrist against resistance also this is supplied by the radial nerve so by now we completed the uh, three nerves motor function now we will assess the sensory function of the uh, same three nerves the median nerve sensation supplied by just ask the patient to close his eyes and uh, by uh, a cotton wool uh, touch finely over the distal uh, part of the index finger 
for uh, feel of sensation then for the unknown nerve touch the bulb uh, of the little finger and for the radial nerve assess sensation over the dorsum of the hand in the first web space between the um, thumb and index fingers okay now we completed the neurological examination of the hand then quickly state that you would like to do a special test and basically you can do one or two or even you can just mention them we have tinnel test and, and falling test and uh, those two tests for carpal tunnel syndrome tinnel test is done by performing tabbing over the uh, <coughs> um, palmar aspect or anterior aspect of the wrist over the carpal tunnel flexor retinaculum and if he feels numbness over the median nerve distribution this is both the test for carpal tunnel and falling test you will ask him to do to put his hands uh, uh, flex both of the wrist joints and put uh, touch the hands dorsum of both hands to each other while flexion and if he feels again numbness over the median nerve distribution this is positive test for carpal tunnel syndrome now you completed your examination thank the patient tell him you complete the exam just uh, for completion you would like state that you would like to assess the joint above which is the elbow joint and also you would like to do complete neurovascular examination of the upper limb and uh, accordingly the management plan might if there is laceration for example you might like if the laceration for example by a, a piece of glass you would like to do uh, dressing and irrigation and you would like to perform x-ray to make sure there is no foreign body because as you know 95 percent of glass is a radio opaque and appear in x-ray and also you, uh, you would like to assess the tetanus status of the patient and then if needs suturing you would like to perform it this is everything regarding the hand examination Thank you very much.